is a Zerbinator Land production. Enjoy. Sadly, for just a little while, this will be the end of Pretentious Podcast for a little bit. Um, Brian and I are going to move on to something much greater, which I am very glad about. And uh, I'm about to call him up via Skype and talk about it in our last episode of Pretentious Podcast together. So, without any further ado, I'm going to open up the uh, Skype here and give Brian a call. Are we recording right now? What's up, everybody? This is me, Icy Robots, here in Santa Rosa, lovely Santa Rosa. Temperature is? The temperature is presently 32 degrees, which is California freezing. I just... I just got back from taking the dog around the block. That and is cold. Criminy. It was cold out there. It's foggy, too. I, myself, I love the fog. I think that it's just, uh, I think it's so neat how things, like, in the distance just kind of disappear. And I don't know. I like, I love it. I love the, I love, you just disappeared there for a sec. Are you, are you still here, Kev? I'm still here. I just didn't notice that uh, I can't see myself. So I don't know if the camera's centered. You're going to have to tell me because the one. You're not, you're not missing anything, bud. The, uh, <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at your face poor kevin poor um, kevin just sitting there wearing a sweatshirt yeah this is my this is my attire but back to you being free see there's two skypes open there shouldn't be two skypes open do i i do don't, i have two skypes open i don't like the new skype and i also got to turn you up don't say that because they're probably listening and they skype, will only make you open. suck yes i said it i said it Skype sucks. Zoom is much better. What is Zoom? Is that, that's that old Microsoft MP3 player, right? The the Zoom. Oh, the Zoom, but not Zoom. No, M- do you have a, I had a Zoom. Did you have a Zoom? Uh, yeah, I actually did have a Zoom for. No, did I have a Zoom? Hold on one second. Let me ask myself you questions. You didn't have a Zoom. My brother had a Zoom. I had a uh, Mosaic. You uh, have a brother? A, uh, my brother Brian. That's a good name. Yeah. Um, are we I, recording right now? Yeah. We are. This is all good show stuff. Let's let's keep this all in. This is this is the gold. This is as you say the gold of the show. This is the gold of the show. The goal and also also the gold. The goal of the goal. Go, it gets hard after a while. Uh huh. The sentence. Um, what? The. What was uh-huh. the, what was creative Zen? I had a creative Zen mosaic. I have a Creative Zen jukebox that I use still. I would still um, use mine if it didn't die. It died. The battery's dead on it. It went dead recently. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to buy one. You can still pick them up online. I don't know why, but they have a lot of them in like overseas places. You can't seem to find one in America. Like they're all they're all in Britain. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. They somebody must have like a like a secret a cache. What are you drinking there, Kev? What's the dealio? Um, mm. I'm drinking my morning coffee. Oh yeah, what what kind is that? This is, um, unfavorable to many. Maxwell House French roast. It's French. Now the question is, why do you? I can understand why, like if you're like in a work situation, you know, like you're in the office or the factory, and you got to like instantly make some coffee. Uh, but you're at home. You're in like your. You're in your house. Why don't you? This why don't is you my use like, like a, Well, yeah, but why don't you use like a like a ground coffee of some sort? Why do you? It is grounded. Yeah, but it's like freeze dried flavor crystals as opposed to like coffee crystals. It's the best freeze dried flavor 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 flavors. Yeah, but like the best freeze dried is worse than like the worst fresh ground. I use Pete's Pete's coffee myself. That's Never the preferred brand here. Never, never, never heard of him. Is he is he a a local friend of yours? No, you must have heard. It's a big chain. They're like second only to Star Starbucks. Really? Uh huh. So you go there. It's like a physical location. No, they just I just get it down to Safeway. Oh. They they sell it at the store as well. You still have Safeways? You don't have a Safeway? Safeways are gone from from where I am. And, I think and Safeway's Virginia, the biggest grocery chain in the world. Yeah, Virginia, mm-hmm. there's still Safeways, as far as I know. But up here, there's no Safeways. 
I think we have seven Safeways in Santa Rosa. God, I wish at I had least. A Safeway. I love. It's Safeway. okay. We it's all right. Um, you know, it's it's neither it's neither great nor bad. It's just kind of, it, you know, it is what it is. We have Giant, which is. I'm sure you have Giant too, right? No, we don't. Not here. Do you have anything called Stop and Shop? No. That's the. Uh, is that is that like the na- that was the name of the place it, in that that Kevin Smith movie Clerks wasn't it? Didn't he work at the Stop and Shop or is that Stop and Go? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was like Stop and Go or. It was something. Stop and say. Are you are you a Kevin Smith fan? Are you a fan of Kevin Smith Not films? Not anymore. No. No. He was great for. I didn't get the whole thing about Clerks. I don't understand why that was so cool. I, I've watched it several times, and I think it was just cool to the era of generation that watched it. And then just I, because I think it's just the way he funded it and and produced it himself, you know, without any. Well, that was okay. What are you doing? What is that? Cat hair on my foamy foam. Hold on, I'm going to take it off. Tell me if this sounds different. Okay. Hey, how are you? No, no, maybe like a, a little, but not in you know any, any incredible noticeable degree. What are you doing there? Where is your cat? Where is that no, dumb no, cat? You don't want to know because he's. Lately, he's been making so many noises. I'm going to leave I, that off. I like the sound of that. I do not like cats that much. I, I don't hate cats. them or anything. We're getting but, one more. No, uh, we got one recently. They just seem like it seems like there's so many that they're just always just popping up all the time, man. It's, if people know that you have like an open heart to pets, you're, you're going to wind up with more cats than you can handle, I think. See, you can hear that now. I can hear that now, yeah. Cover but it up. you do actually have the microphone inside your mouth. So See, you I don't hear that, it now. I can hear it now. I, I have that would be hilarious hearing. if you heard it just as close. <laughs> I can hear it just as well. well. I, have, I have amazing hearing, though. I like, do, too. I, I can hear a pin drop like across the street. It, it makes life hard, man. I can hear the hate and loathing in your tone. Do you? Uh, for this, you're hearing. for this podcast. All I, all I have is love. Love in the tone. All right. The love tone. This is the this is the love tone. What's up, Kevin? This is this is the love tone. You beat me to it. Hello and this welcome to Love Tone. This is me, the love tone on KZRB, the station that plays only things you don't want to hear 24 hours a day. Oh my god, am I live? Hello? Well, <laughs> Yeah, you are live on KZER, but this is me, uh, Dr. Love and the Love Tones. What can we do for you today? I would like to pick the Porsche key. Uh, what was that? I think you have the wrong station. We only take dedications here. This is this is one of those deals where you call in and you say, I want to give it up to you, my love. So is there anyone out there that you love right now that you'd like to say hello to? I want to say hi to my friend Tiffany. And... Gotta go. Click. I... <laughs> You never had Porsche giveaways in the 80s on the radio in California? Yeah. Uh-uh. Where you had to guess if the key worked, and, and then the guy would go, Hi, you're caller number six. Who am I speaking California, to? Everybody already has a Porsche. What? Mm-hmm. What's the weather like in uh, good old Lake Bazak? Oh, I was in the middle of talking to you about something. Porsche keys. Porsche keys. And then they would go, uh, You're caller number six. Let's give it a try. And you hear, brr, 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 brr. I'm sorry, it didn't work. Oh. And then one person would call and go, brum, brum, you win a Porsche 911 and it's coming for... And they give away Porsches on the radio. You think that's all fixed? Yep. I would imagine so. I don't... I called Mix 107.3 when I was a kid, Q107. Mix 107.3. It was Q107. I'm sorry. It became Mix 107.3 when Mix every... Mix Q107.3. When everything went Jack Radio. But um, This is all Jack. What is Jack Radio? It's like the uh, conglomerate that everybody went to because it was uh all radio got bought by one huge company and i'm guessing it's dude named jack i think it's disney and uh cbs bought everything and so all broadcasting went under one huge roof and all uh, everything and everything became mix 107 or mix 93 or mix blah blah but mix 101.4 on the dial they would i called up 107.3 and i said i liked i would like to win the grand prize and they go, hold they said, on. Tough luck, kid. Oh, Click. No, no. They said, hold on one second. And then you wait for a while. And then I'd like to, did someone go, tell me you'd like to win with 107.3? And I'd say, I want to win with 107.3. You're a winner. What song do you want to hear? And I would say, like, Daryl Hall and John Oates doing uh, Man Eater. Okay. And you hear the song start in the phone. All right. We're right here with Kevin and he, blah, blah, blah. And he won. 
And what did you win? Nothing. I mean, besides the fact that you got to hear Hall and Oates. I got air, I got airplay of my voice. I saw Hall and Oates in concert. I don't go to a lot of concerts. I'm like a concert dude myself. But yeah. Hall and Oates was playing here in Santa Rosa, and we went. And, you know, they do, like, all the songs, you know, all the hits and stuff. But they finish off with um, with Oates singing, uh, what is that Righteous Brothers tune? Yeah, um, um, you got that love and feel. No, the the other one. But anyway, I, I was completely blown away. By how tremendous of a singer Oates was. Yeah, he is like, good. Like, you know, Hall's like doing his thing with, you know, with his like high pitch of voice. And all of a sudden he like passes over and Oates is like, he's tearing it up on this Righteous Brothers jam. It was, it was phenomenal. He's one always, of the greatest like things the, I've ever heard. He's like the sloppy second singer. They, he never gets front row. Nope. Never gets nothing. But, you know, I'm should, sure he's fine. Should we start our final pretentious? I thought we had. I didn't put in the theme song yet. What does the theme song even sound like? I'll play, play it. it for me. Can you play it for me right now? I sure will. Just for you, right here on Pretentious All right. Podcast. I've never heard it. You've never listened to the shows you've recorded? Like a little bit of them? I mean, I hear myself talk all day. <laughs> I don't need to hear it more. I'm like, I hear it all day. I respect that. I, I talk so much sometimes. Here, I don't here you go. People put up. This is it. You ready? Hit it. I hope you can hear it. And now, it's time for Pretentious Podcast with Brian and Zerbinator. Why wasn't I offered the opportunity to work on the theme song? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a bit of a music maestro myself, Kev. I might not... The show existed might not have before a... you were even born. I don't think that's true. I was born, I was born way back in 19, 1956, back in, back in an easier time when the world was nicer, people were sweeter, the lemonade was made with real sugar. It's real sugar. And it's real Splenda lemons. nowadays. Yeah. And Splenda's fine, but... Those kids, it's no, they it's try no, ripping it's you no off on the streets. You know? mm-hmm. So we've started the show. This is the show. Yeah, th- we'll just consider that the uh, the opening. But uh, You think that's what people are thinking right now? They're like, this is the show. Yeah. Well, this is, <laughs> this is the this last... This is the show, guys. If you're not into this, just, just hang up now. <laughs> just take your modem off. Hang Line. it back up on... The- phone yeah. and just forget it don't even hit the stop just throw your computer away are you still on dial up i am i don't know if a lot of people out there are boop, 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 boop. it's tough <laughs> I, to, man, I gotta i gotta put like a phone cord into my cell phone it's weird it's a weird process i actually have a generator with a switchboard lady but she's in the bedroom but she has to plug it into the yeah. internet pull out that that cord like stick it. i go sarah <laughs> connect me that Is was she home a, right now? No, she's she went to take a nap. Can you? She went to nap somewhere else. No, she's in my bed. No, I said like, is she home? You're like, no, she's taking a nap. Like, did she go sleep outside? Oh. She's outside taking a nap. <laughs> I ain't paying her. Just laying on the lake. Just... <laughs> Which is a good idea because it's frozen over still. Is it frozen? Yeah. Ever... There's two rocks that I. Oh, they're gone. Okay, so it did. It did uh, warm up enough for the rocks to drop. We Sometimes the neighbors and myself also will throw rocks out there to see how good the ice is. And if it stays above, then that means it's still frozen quite down. But the reason you do it is you get large rocks. You put them out there, and, and they're about like this big. And really? Then you, you look Kevin out, is holding his hands about three feet apart right now. Yeah. And what happens is when it starts to melt, the rock will sink a little bit. A little bit. And then if you see just like a little nub out there, you know it's not safe to walk on it. Not at all? Not never? No. You'll fall right through. Really? Uh, you should, can you demonstrate that for us? Sure. I'll be right back. <laughs> there goes Kev. It was good while it lasted. What are you going to do? Life moves on. <laughs> this is now <laughs> another another great Ice <laughs> Robots radio show. There, I'm back. Hi, Jack. No, I made it. Oh, did you? Sorry. Did you say Jack as in Jack Radio came and took our podcast away? No, I hijacked it. Oh, hijacked. I thought you said hello to Jack. I'm sorry. What's up, Jack? Um, No, what I said about the rock is not true. In case there's youngins listening and thinking that uh, you can put a rock out there to see if it's safe to walk. There aren't. I assure you there are no there are no youngins listening. Just well, in what do you case. consider a youngin? A youngin could be the son or daughter of a listener, and then they go, Hey, I got I heard on a radio show that you put a rock in the ice. I don't, no, not true. Not at all true? Not at all true. 
I have no experience with like ice or rocks. I mean, it gets cold here, but yeah, you don't ice up hardly like it frosts up, you know, like it's not every once in a while, like puddles will freeze up. I think the lakes don't freeze, you know, it's pretty cold out there right now for us. Uh, when I was out taking the dog around the block, I, um, this is how cold it was, Kevin. I had to put my hands in my pockets. What? That's how cold it was. I like inside of my jacket pocket to keep them. California keep them pockets. In my pockets, and luckily, luckily, I had a hot pocket in there that I was that was munching on, so it, it worked out well. One so of those breakfast wa- pockets. It's like a hand warmer slash meal. Uh huh. My hand fit. I had one in each pocket. I had one for lunch, a pepperoni one in the other pocket. I had like an egg, egg and cheese that I was gonna, you know, that was munching along the way. But it, you know, it served it served me well. I I don't think I've ever tried the breakfast pockets. They're all right. They're okay. Do you know what I do like? No. This is one of like, I don't even, it's not a guilty pleasure because I'm not ashamed, but I like like frozen microwave breakfast. I like the kind that come with like the scrambled egg and like the one sausage and the, like the hash brown. I don't know what it is, but those frozen scrambled eggs are like my favorite thing in the world. And I don't know if those are like powdered eggs or what. I have no idea, but man, those are my favorite. I, uh, they used to carry him at the Safeway. For a while, they carried him at the Dollar Tree, but they don't even. Dollar Tree, yeah! I used to eat these Dollar Tree breakfasts like once With a week. The... That's kind of like my weekly treat. You every ever Saturday purchase them Get Her Done biscuits by uh, Larry the Cable Get Guy? Get Her Done Larry the Cable Guy. That's what they have now. They used to have the Jimmy Dean like frozen with the eggs, but now they got the Get Her Done biscuits. Yeah. And I... <laughs> I will. Okay, look, I'll, I'll admit it. I did one time get, try the get her done business. Did I think? didn't get him. Hold on. I just got a message on Voxer. Let's see. Let's see what it says right here. Oh, yeah. The listeners it's, love to know about your personal life. They do. I mean, isn't that like the whole the whole thing here? It says it's from Doug McCoy. It's nine seconds long. I wonder what he says. There's no way that I could play this and you can hear it. Try. Put it into the mic and play it. Yeah. Let's hold on. Let's or is it on the PC? Hello? Dead air. Dead air, Brian. Brian, you did something. I'm actually um, oh. trying to meet up with Doug McCoy today. He's Oh, really? He's going to Yeah, he's going to like a like a a retreat of some sort like with his with his church or or whatnot. Beautiful. And he's going to be passing right through my town, like on the way there. He's going to be passing through and he's like, "Hey, I'm going to be in Santa Rosa and blah blah blah." So we're trying to arrange that for later this afternoon. Have but um, you, have you met him in person before? I have not. We voxed a lot and and stuff like that, but never never in person. Um, so this you know could be interesting. But I need my, a, uh, a height measurement when you see him. I'll, I'll get it for you. That's um, very I'll, important. I, got, I have a tape measure on my um, keychain. I'll, Say this. I'll, is, I'll, I'll whip it up. You know what you do? Keep it in your pocket and then go. This is from Kevin, and then and then just measure him. He knows who you are? Yeah, he's heard of me. If I say Kevin, he'll... Zerb. It's better you say Zerb. Narrow it down. I thought it was Zerby. Uh, that too. You've told me like 20 times. You're like, you don't even know my name. It's Zerby. It's uh, Zerb. Okay, I'm proud of you. Do you need that uh, justification in your life? What kind of a name is Zerby, anyhow? Like, is, what's it's some... Scandinavian Swedish. Mm-hmm. It's, is that uh, true? It's 100% German. I have another question for you, Kev. Chime in. What's your birthday? My my birthday? Your birthday. What is your birthday? My birthday is, uh, I was born in 1970 in the center of the year. You were born in 1970. Dude, you are super old. You're a full three years older than me. That's like, I mean, I, I figure that I'm, you know, I'm going to wither and pass within the next three years. So you, you could be gone any minute now. Any second. Any second so oh appreciate him while he's here because any second now it could all be over any day now i that could big, freaking die that's the biggest coffee cup why do you, is that full bubba keg baby i get two of these a day is that full though <laughs> you drink that you drink two of those full of coffee a day yeah wakes me up yeah it's probably also like Turning your heart into some kind of iron know, iron mask. I maybe you know, crime. Kevin. What? 
maybe the root of all your health problems is the two gigantic mugs of instant coffee that you drink a day. It's How long have you been doing that? Coffee. It's ground coffee. It's delicious coffee. Let me tell you something about coffee. If you don't finish your... My mom always said, if you don't finish your coffee, I'm going to be upset. Do you know that there's people still sleeping in Colombia? She didn't say that. She said that every morning. She did it. And then when dinner came, finish your finish your German pork roast because people are starving in China. I had no clue. Is that the kind of thing that she would make? Yes. uh, There was... No, I love my mom. And you can too for just $5. That's not nice to say. No, it isn't. Um, but she loved that joke. She really did. Um, I don't think she did. No, she did. You want to call her? No. I, you know I will. I, I know you will. You like to call people. Like You're just like, hey, I'm doing the show, but let me just... Call people. Let me just call some, some rando and see what... <laughs> call. Start dialing. My mom would say... Uh, Where does she live? Oh, she would make... I should tell you my upbringing on food. It's pretty pretty mm. scary. She yeah. lives right now in, in Maryland, um, close to where we grew up in Virginia. Not close. I'm about two to three to four hours away from where I grew up. Mm-hmm. Uh, my house is on the market again that I grew up in. And really? Man, Are you going to buy it? Uh, $972,000. What? Yeah. How big is that? Like that's It's a colonial built 1949. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very well located as remember i told you from my second story bedroom you could see dc and that's, that's like california prices that's insane yeah well you're very close to dc very good schools shopping in blah, dc blah, blah, blah. good schools i don't know about i don't know about all that that's well, not in dc close to dc i say mm-hmm. um this is the uh hubba hubba hubbers suburbs so that's where you're from that's uh, your yeah. that's your origin tale that's why you are like up. you are now yeah, that's exactly why. I, uh, my mom would make a lot of food and put a lot of wine in it. There was a lot of cooking sherry. Really? And uh, I think more sherry for her than the food, but it... Mm-hmm. it that's worked. why you're an alcoholic nowadays? Um, I don't drink, but it's the reason I'm a, I'm a mess. You don't drink at all? I drink beers once in a blue. I mean, I have a hellacious beer glass collection. Uh-huh. And then now I just don't drink beers anymore. I that's drink like, a glass of like wine. I collect comic books, but I, you know, I don't like to read. I just, I just, uh, I don't know. Well, I used I to have... drink beer. I used to love beer, but then lately it's just like a filler. It doesn't do much, and I and the taste doesn't match the way it used to. So I now, do not drink at all. I drink wines. I don't drink nothing. Water, coffee. I like Behringer White Zinfandel. It's a I, know, I need to keep my mind drink. clear, man. You know, got to keep my eyes on the prize. Focus. Speaking of mind being clear. Mm-hmm. Started, Those are your memory pills, I huh? I started taking memory pills. I remember what, what, when I got these. What is the name of that pill? It's called M.A. Mm-hmm. No, that's not right. Let me get the real bottle because that's not really the real bottle. Hold on one second. You ready when I for typed this? In Do it, not laugh. It, okay. What? What is that? This is my collection of meds I take every day. You take those every day? Every day. I don't take anything. That explains it. I mean, every once in a while, I'll take, like, a a Sudafed, but that's about it. Here's my birth control pills. Drug-free! Boop, boop! Here's my memory pills. I'm just going to type in memory pill. We'll see what comes up. Memory pill. I'm taking... Memory pill? Memantine. Memantine? M-A-M-A... M-E-M-A-N-T-I-N-E. Let's see what the side effects are. Weight loss? That'll be good. Swelling in your feet? I don't know if that's good. Fast heart rate? Well, along with the two giant jugs you drink of flavor crystals, but I don't... Well, we'll Joint see. pain? This one you already have. Anxiety and aggression. So watch out for that. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? You might also um, get unusual weakness, but you're, you're already unusually weak, so I don't know, man. That is... Let's see. Are you allowed to drink alcohol when you take a mamantine? Um, you should avoid it. Yeah. I think it can it can worsen your dementia. So, what dementia? Do you have dementia, Kev? What's that? Uh, no, the the memory pills are because I'm just uh, I'm starting to lose it. Are you? Yeah. That could just be with age, man. Like What's that? I just think I I find myself forgetting stuff like all the time. Like the other day, I was um. I could not remember Yvonne Craig's name, like uh, you know the girl who's Batgirl on the on the '67 Batman. 
Like, yeah. I'm looking at a picture, and I'm just like, what was her name again? And it just, like, I drew a blank, and I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I also think the internet is taking our memories. Oh, hell yeah. Because you don't have to remember anything anymore. It's do like... You, do you remember? There's a comedian, Pete Holmes, who talked about this, um, mm-hmm. how Google has ruined everything. The Someone asked, who sang that song? Um, I'll just pull one out of the air. Free Fallen. Um, now, don't answer it. I know we all know who sang Free Fallen. And, uh, but you didn't know. Uh, mm-hmm. No, no. It was, where is Tom Petty from? Where was he born? Seattle, right? And, uh, well, the point is, is that you could look it up and find out in a second. Uh So, so you walk around with that question before Google, before instant gratification, you walked around with that question in your mind and you would ask other people and it would cause this community within a group of people. Hey, where's Tom Petty from? I'm not sure. And then you would go to a library and look it up. And this would be like a week's worth of checking it out and trying to understand the answer and find the answer instead of the 0.7 seconds of, you know, Siri, boop, boop. where is, uh, you know, you were drinking something. What is it that you're drinking? Uh, just, you know, coffee, no, what, straight coffee. Is mm-hmm. it Pete's? It is Pete's, Pete's brand coffee. And I want to say that because I don't want to feel like I'm giving them like a free sponsorship or anything, you know, I'm not. But I do, you know, I endorse them. It's it's good stuff. Good yeah. stuff to me, at any rate. You ever have Tim mm-hmm. Hortons coffee? No, uh uh-uh. Tim Hortons is a Canadian thing, and I, I always wondered, since you're in California and you're closer to Can- Canada than I am. I think you might be. Really? Are you? Well, yeah. Well, let me look at a map. All right. Mm-hmm. You, you ask map. Let's see. Connecticut is. Hold on. Right here. Trying to find one with the states like labeled. I'm seeing all these ones. You don't know your states? No, you're way closer than we are. Wow. Yeah. So you're, you're kind of like if you, if you go straight across, you're practically like you're in Oregon. Oh. We're sort of dead. Like if you go straight across where we are, we're closer to like Delaware. Or Maryland. Oh, okay. So you're you're yeah, you're closer to where I used to live. Yeah, you're you're way higher up than we are. You're just like at the border, the Oregon border. If you went like straight. So after you is Washington and then Canada. Oregon then Washington. Ah, that's right. Yeah, well, that's because mm-hmm. of the Panhandle in Oregon. The Panhandle. What's the Panhandle? Or the bucket holder. Maybe. Have you ever been to Oregon? I have not. I have not. The furthest out I've been is Iowa, Nebraska area, and uh, I really wanted to go to Colorado so badly. You did want to? Yeah, I would love to see the mountains in Colorado. I would just all right. love to. They're all right. Nothing, nothing, you know, to nothing go out of your way to see, but it's all right. What I can't understand is now that I'm old enough to travel the world, yeah. now mm-hmm. you have to pay to enter any national park. I'm not a big travel dude. I myself, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like, I'm very happy where I am and I would like to see other things, but I don't like, like the feeling of just kind of like being out. Like you're just like hanging out there on your own. You know what I mean? You have no, no nothing. And like, it's just, I don't know. Traveling's not for me. I don't mind like road, like gay trips, like car trips, but like the whole hopping in a plane, going places. I don't know, man. I don't fly. No way. Not my cup of tea. I'm a trainee. I like trains. Do you? I've never been on a train. What? No, never. Mm. You like, com, you know, com, like travel trains. I've been on like, you know, like BART and things like that, but never like a train that goes anywhere that's not within like the city, city limits. Well, that's... I, I wouldn't, I think it'd be fun. I'd like to give it a shot. I just, I've, I've never done it. Find out how much it would cost for you to take a train out here. Train from California to Connecticut. All right, all right, all right. And if you do that, Ferg can come up and meet us. Do you think he would? Yeah, and if you pick up Doug along the way, it's a party. That would be that would be a hoot. Uh, um, Hartford, Connecticut to Los Angeles, two hundred forty bucks. That's not bad. I mean, it'll take a month, probably. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> it took there. me three days to get to Nebraska from 
uh, the Washington, D.C. train station, Union Station. It'll, let's see. From San Francisco to Hartford, it's 332 bucks, and it's going to take 80 hours. That's not bad, really. I mean, if you're— Sleeper car. If you're just, like, into it, enjoying the trip, you know, if you just want to, like, look out the window and have a good time. I mean, it's days. That is days. But it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, really. But, like, there and back is going to take a week <laughs> like of your vacation time. So it'd be like you get wow. there, hop out, be like, hey, what's up, Kev? Let's go have lunch. And you just got to head back. Well, at least your first train experience would be quite prosperous. Where would we have lunch at? I would take you to the Athena Diner. The Athena, like the like the Greek. Yes. Let's look up that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Athena Diner in Middletown, Connecticut. Middletown. O six four six zero. That's where you go. It's a great diner. Um, on top of that, let's look at the menu. Let's look at the menu here. Sure. You name it, they got it. Can you hear that? They have like pop up music on their on their site. What is this like? No, thank you, Skype. That's the worst. Why, why do people do that? Make you jealous. Yeah, let's see. And their menu does not come up. They have steaks, fresh seafood, chops, beer, and burgers. Breakfast served all day. All baking done on the premises. Let's see. You can get pancakes. Let's see. Let's look at their burgers. Every time this music pops up, it's this corny two-second loop of like, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm out of here. I don't want to go there. <laughs> you could have muted it. But yeah, they have wanna... anything you think of, plus they'll make mm-hmm. anything you ask for. Anything. So what I do is I ask for a hamburger with a piece of ham on it. You know, really? The double R bar burgers from Roy Rogers when you were growing you are up? Such, you're such a health nut, Kev. Oh, gosh. I try to live the best I can. Tell and everybody what you have for breakfast every day. I ha- I don't eat breakfast. It's two large cups of coffee. Mm, we talked about this the other day. You were like, "That's lunch. making my breakfast." Got my two eggs, uh, eggs over medium, three pieces of toast. I don't like Jimmy Dean sausage. I like the other brand. Uh, I forget what you said. Something like that, or maybe you do like Jimmy Dean. I can't recall. Uh, well, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Uh, People I, would love. They want to hear this super bad. <laughs> Jimmy Dean sausages. Two of them. Three eggs. Big tall glass of orange juice. Other days, it's two. Delicious. It's a lot of fat and a lot of sugar, Kev. Thomas's English muffins filled with cheese and then sausage and then eggs fried to a... <laughs> you got to stay away from the juice. The juice is so high in sugar. This is what I have for breakfast every single day. Exact same thing. If I don't have a frozen breakfast from the Dollar Tree, this is what I have. I have three pieces of turkey bacon, three, and a bowl of oatmeal. That's it. And a cup of coffee. That's that's it, man. Got to have that healthy lifestyle. So you can Turkey, live longer. Bacon, and, uh, oatmeal. Mm-hmm. And that, but see, this is the thing. You're gonna have a very long life of terrible tasting food. Yeah. Well, let me tell you the story. Um, I had to go to the to the hospital to get some blood work done. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be more proactive about the health stuff. You know, I, I like up until recently, I haven't been to the doctor. I think he said in like seven years, right? I just, I never go. I don't, if uh, there's nothing ever wrong, you know, knock on wood. So I never go, but I decided, eh, maybe, you know, I have insurance. Maybe I should start like just, you know, trying to be proactive about these Using things. Using it. Right? Yeah. Maybe I should use it. I've had it, you know, for like my entire life. I never, I literally never go. So, yeah. you know, I, I didn't even have a doctor, right? We go to Kaiser. I didn't even have a doctor. I had to pick a doctor off this like chart of people. Yep. And I'm like, oh, this, I used this to guy have looks Kaiser. nice. Yep. In Virginia. Go on. Yeah. So, like, you know, I went to see him and he's like, oh, you know, you know, you look all right, blah, blah, blah. Let's uh, let's get some blood work done and we'll, you know, do some like ultrasounds of your organs to see how things look. And I'm like, all right, you know, sounds good. So I'm over I'm over at the ultrasound place and right. the and I've never had this done. I don't you know, it's it's no big deal that like rub this thing over you and they get like some kind of a scan. I love I, how I, warm and gooey it is. But yeah, she's like, OK, let's, you know, let's look at your kidneys. And I'm like. Okie doke. And the, you know, the lady looks down at me and she goes, she was a Russian lady. She goes, you have dog? And I go, excuse me? She's like, you have dog? You have dog? And I go, yeah, I, I, have, I have two dogs. And I'm like, how can you tell? She's like, you have hair on shut. And I'm like, oh. She's like, what kind of dog? And I go, oh, 
She's uh Tell me dog's name. <laughs> she go is it, um she she's a red healer, you know, she's like in a you know Australian catalog. She go, oh, oh beautiful is good dog. And I wasn't sure if she was like making a statement of, you know, oh, that is a good dog, or she's asking me like, is that a good dog? She's like, is good dog. And I go, Yeah, she's good. She goes, Yes, yes, that's what said. That is what said. Is good dog. And so she's like scanned it over my kidney. She's like, kidney look good. They look good inside. I see I see no stones. I see nothing. And I'm like, oh, that's good. And she's like, what do you do with dog? And I'm like, walk it? <laughs> pet it? I'm like, I don't. Can I, I don't have know. dog? She's like, you have dog. It's good dog. Like, Let oh, me man, have you know, him. It's good dog. You walk dog, he's good dog. And <laughs> so, you know, I got the ultrasound and that was all good. And then, you know, I had to do the blood blood thing. And uh, I, don't, I don't like getting my blood taken. I don't think anybody really does. I get I get woozy, just like the thought of it makes me woozy. So you know I like to I like to lay down. You know they have the chairs you sit in. I'm like I can I lay, can I lay in the bed? So they you know they do the blood blah blah blah. And yeah. The end result of this story is I got the blood results back and dude, my cholesterol is phenomenal. Good. So maybe you should start on the oatmeal and turkey bacon. Why would I do that? Because yours is phenomenal. Because yours can be phenomenal too, Kevin. I don't even know you what can... mine is, and do you know how great I feel? I, mean, I don't think you feel that great. You look showed at all me all the pills I take. You showed me all the pills you take. I don't take a single pill, like regularly. I take a Sudafed every once in a while if I get stuffed up. But no, is good dog take no pill, Kevin? Well, let me tell you this: when you were getting your ultrasound, did did the hair on her arms tickle? A little bit. Yeah. No, she was a very nice lady. Very nice. He's a good dog. He's he's good kidney. Your kidney is good. He's good. I am Natasha. I'm here to give you ultrasound. They had like this big thing on the wall that said how the um, the ultrasound technician does not review your records. But she's like going over everything going, oh, I oh know no it. stones. Is look good. Is look good in here. Oh, all, all is good. All is good. I'm like, man. That's what they say when they're worried to death because, you know, you have like 10 seconds to live. My daughter it's does fair. that for a living. My daughter is a radiologist in that department. Oh, yeah? Yep. And <laughs> she does uh, ultrasounds. She does all the x-rays and scans and reports everything to the doctors. And, um, Is she rushed? And no, she actually takes her time. He's good dog. <laughs> ah, look at you. What a play on words. Kevin, you're so funny sometimes. <laughs> you're the funniest. Um, she... You're literally the funniest person in the world. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean it. She... <laughs> Please, I can't. I mean, Kevin, I, I, just, I have one question for you. What? What's your birthday? My birthday? What is your birthday? Und that, was, that was a terrible accent. My Russian accent is so bad. I cannot. You have to say things in a way that are very serious, no matter how much you think is not. I just don't want to do it, man. As a proud American, it's offensive to me. It's like, what do you good mean? Dog. That's, no, that's... He's an American dog. Is good dog. And she's like, what? You should do it like uh, Yakov Smirnov. In America, you have dog. Now, that dude wasn't really Russian, right? In Russia, dog have you. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what a country. Yakov. What a name. Yakov Smirnov. <laughs> Yakov Smirnov. Uh, da, da, da. He was a good comedian. I liked him a lot. When I was you born. know what? His name is Yakov Namovich Pokhis. He is actually a Soviet-born American comedian. What do you know? Yep. I thought that whole thing was like some kind of a... Uh, I'm like, that guy's the worst with that sticky routine. Oh, know? no, he was real. He was he was uh, a big deal. What do you know? Yeah. Let's, let's go to yakovsmirnov.com right now. You guys listening at home also do the same. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. He's looking pretty clean cut nowadays. Yeah, and well, he's getting up there, I'm sure. What is he now, 60-something? He's on tour. He's going to be in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Kev. Ooh. It's September 18th of last year. <laughs> uh, right now, the G3 tour is coming here. Is that like some kind of extreme sports? Uh, no, but that uh, that's weird because I was looking at some of that yesterday, and I'm never going to that site again. Let's see. Um, he sells a bunch of paintings. Uh, I'm going to get you one of these for your birthday. Maybe he became an artist. Um, Let's see. Here's Joe one Satri- of the American flag. Yeah. We're on two different subjects. Jo- what are your subjects are you on? A G3 tour. i got to tell you about it because uh, there's a possibility we might see it. Um, that and another thing Shelly wants tickets for. But uh, Joe Satriani, uh, Phil Collin from um, uh, Def Leppard, and John Petrucci from 
Uh, you don't want to go to Dream that. Theater. Uh, that's that's whack. That is so whack. I can't wait to see. Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, John Pertusi. Yep. John Hyland, Ann Timmons, Gary Hoy, Brian May, Billy Gibbons. Hey, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. Johnny A. George Lintz. Guthrie Govan, oh, Alejandro Guthrie. Silva, and Eric Sedanis. Eric what? Sedanis is good. Guthrie's amazing. Uh, it's possible. You make a new Malmsteam. Yeah, that's your buddy from Sweden. Oh, good old you dig you you young way. How do you? He plays the guitar like this with his hook sack. I don't know. I'm trying to do Jamie Lee Curtis from uh, Trading Places. That totally did. How to say Trading Places? Yeah, how do you say that? That's one of my favorite movies. Uh, hold on. How to pronounce this name? Too bad you can't hear this. That just say it. It doesn't even want to try. Yingwe Malmstein. Is that what it said? Uh huh. It's Ingve, like a V. Ingve Malmstein. Yeah. I'm sorry. If, I'm sure you're listening right now, Yingve. I'm not making fun. You can I wish re- you could really. listening. I'm I, sure he's. You can you can shred. Oh, he's he's amazing, and plus he's one of the oldest shredders I can think of. I can't think of any other guitarist that that plays baroque metal. Anywhere. The guy can I don't do... think people shred anymore. Oh I was my asking gosh. my daughter about that. I was asking my daughter, I'm like, hey man, who's like the best guitarist on the scene right now? And she's like, I don't know. It's like who plays guitar? You won't find like, anything on the radio, no. Radio like, now point. is made by producers, not artists. Um the that we call those rando musicians because they only last about a month. I've always like you know, I'm a music fan. I've always been a music fan. Me and too. I never like in my life thought I would get to the point where I hear new music coming out and I go, that's not music. I, I feel bad. I feel like I'm just like, dude, you are so old now because like I'm listening to something. I'm like, that's not music. No, like, it's not. That, listening to you, ding, ding. I'm going like the, out tonight. Going to see a girl that I like and get a number. And then I'm going to text her. Hashtag. You know what I thought you were going to say Oh, there? my God. Oh, think, my I God. Thought, what? It sounded like you were going to too. go into the country. I'm going to get myself some peaches. You know that song? But no, then, and I don't want to. Presidents of the United States, I think. Go into the country. I'm going to get myself some peaches. See, they all sound the same. Here, I'll play you a song. I'm going to no, write thanks. this for strictly Brian. Roboticists. You're going to play a song for me? I'll make it call, I'll call it Icy Robots. You don't have to. I make yep. my own songs, and they're great. <laughs> You're shredding, dude. Brian Roboticist. He's an IC robot. He likes to play the video games on the Toys R Us report. Brian Roboticist. He likes to play the video games until his finger hurts. Brian Roboticist. Thank you. Thank you. The Thank song was you. cool, and I appreciate it, but I don't, I don't really play video games. Like, at all. Oh, sh**. Like, not even a little bit. Look, Kevin! Oops. <sighs> Silly me. Yeah, I don't I don't have time for that kind of foolishness. I Watch your mouth. I just don't, you know, like every once in a while, I'll play like a few minutes on the PlayStation 3, but I'm just, I'm not like a video game dude. I don't, um, I got anything against it. It's just not like, it's not my cup of tea. I like, um, I love video games. Today I was playing, uh, Bad Company again, uh, Battle, Battlefield, Bad Company, and it was great. I go to the movies a lot. Like everyone has their thing, you know, like, I saw you your know, some list. people. Oh, did you see the list? Yeah, everybody go to toys. Uh, I'm sorry, icrobots.com, um, and you will find a beautiful oh. handwritten list of, of 87 movies I saw last year at the theater. Good lord, we go there a lot. I've already seen five this year. Let me run them down for you. The five movies I've seen. This All right, year. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All the money in the world. I saw that. I saw the darkest Talk hour. We saw I Tanya. And then I'm away from the mic. And then we saw Den of Thieves and The Commuter. You're going to hear about those in the uh, upcoming episode of the of the Toys R Us report. And oddly enough, 
oddly enough, Kevin actually did go to the restroom right now, but you might think that he's doing that in another room. He's actually going to the restroom in his waste basket, which is not something I would do, but I don't like to judge. You know, I try not to be judgy in life because everybody has different experiences, you know, that lead them to be who they are. So something something happened to a young Kev that led him to use his uh, waste basket for number two. Not even like the one in the kitchen with the liner. He's using like his desk one. So he's going like directly, directly into the uh, into the can. But I mean, whatever, dude, it's your house, man. If you want to if you want to do that, I appreciate it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it in my house, but if you do it in yours, you know, whatever, man. Um, he's coming back. I can hear him walking around. There he is. It's Kevin with another big cup of coffee. A big yummy cup of Maxwell House crystals. Crystals! Hello. What's up, What's up Kev? I, uh, did you notice what? how well I walked, by the way? I noticed that. I also noticed there's a lot of screaming going on. What was that about? Screaming? I could hear you screaming in the bathroom. What's going on in there? Oh, well, it takes a while. Um, I got my foot shot. I got a cortisone shot yesterday. Oh, yeah? And uh, oh, what a difference. Thank you, God. What a difference. So what was the problem with your foot? I, all right. I, I went to a Hold really... On. Hold on. I have one question for you, Kevin. <laughs> What's your birthday? <laughs> this is a, a, involving the foot. Well, my birthday is in July, but the foot... Um, mm-hmm. I went to a really good podiatrist. It took me a while uh-huh. to think of the word. Um, yeah. And he fixed it for like a, almost a full year. It was fine. Mm-hmm. And then it started aching a little bit again. Then it went back to hurting. Uh, plantar fasciitis uh-huh. and bone spur is the problem. So I went into a local doctor instead of the good doctor. There's Yale doctors here. And then there's doctors that aspire to be Yale doctors. Yeah. Don't the, they all? Uh, yeah, and this, and the first one is a Yale doctor. This guy is a local Seven Eleven doctor. Uh-huh. He's like, "Hey, come on in. You got a problem? We'll band aid it for you." So he band aided it for me. Um, when I went and saw this doctor, I'll go ahead and tell you this story because this is sure. pertinent for pretentiousness. It's a good dog. He's a good dog. <laughs> He's a good cat too. Come, come closer to Mike. Her and microphone. Please don't do that. All right. We got I can see the fleas hopping off that cat. There off is that cat no fleas. onto your head. Said you it's have a, fleas. I can see him. Say Not the detail in Skype. I give a kiss, kiss kitty. You ever kiss Kevin, you have to cut that out yeah, too. I do. I think so. So I went and saw this doctor. His mm-hmm. name, I'm not going to give his name because that'll be rude. About for what I'm about to tell you. So right. I, I go in, I go, it's just killing me. He goes, you're going to need a shot. And I'm like, yeah, I need a shot again. You I, need to get shot. You need shot. Your foot is bought. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he, he gets the juice and he shoots it up. The foot juice? Yeah, and it didn't hurt as much as the first time. I can't imagine that feels good. And no, it's a 10-inch needle. Seriously? Your yeah. foot's not that big. No, I know, but he has to get in the center underneath the bone uh, into the pad. Uh, yeah. And, uh, it. yeah, uh. It, it's very uncomfortable with that. But it didn't no, hurt thanks. as much as the first time, and I thought, well, maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. And then he says, I'm going to give you a mm-hmm. box of pills. That'll uh-huh. help with uh, healing it. It's kind of a homeopathic remedy, and that's, it'll help that's... with... Um, getting your foot healed. I was like, thank you. And then he says, I'm also going to get you a pad, a uh, foot pad uh-huh. to put into your shoe. I said, thank you. Like a wee-wee pad? And uh, No, no, nothing like that. And then, no, he gave me underwear for that. And yeah, then, that's cool. Yeah. And then he gave me um, a prescription, like a Meloxicam thing for the pain, because uh-huh. the pain is going to get worse. What is it called? Like Meloxicam, but it was something else that he had. He had these other pills. And I said, okay. <laughs> Good God, what was that? Did you just squeeze a ferret? Nobody called. Are what you... do you mean? Hold on, what is it? Nobody called. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, okay. Nobody called. Nobody called. Nobody called. Nobody called. Nobody called. Nobody called. Is that on your end? So, I get. <laughs> Nobody called. Nobody Can we tell the story? Will you stop playing with your Toys R Us reports? 
I'm not playing with anything. You're a liar. <laughs> so I get up to go pay for all this. You got a cassette now. You're playing a cassette. I'm not. Nobody call. What are you playing with? I don't know. I'm not. I, you, they you, could, what? Continue your foot story. It's thrilling. You're, you're saying nobody's home or something. I don't know what it is. Say. Whatever, dude. All right, so. Nobody calls me. Nobody calls. Nobody calls. <laughs> Just continue. Nobody, Jeez, Kevin. Nobody calls about what? <laughs> it's dead air right now. <laughs> so I go up to pay him. Not pay him, but uh, go up to schedule the next appointment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Nobody calls me. Nobody calls me. <sighs> What? And you know what he does? He almost charges me 180 bucks for everything that he said he'd give me. That's reasonable. Uh, and he's standing behind there looking as if, you know, like he pulled a prank on somebody. He's like, he, he, is he going to bite? Is he really going to pay for all this stuff I'm giving him? And I was like, I can't afford all that. And then he got upset. He was like, all right, it's up to you. And I'm like, no, if, you, if it's a pain pill, write me a prescription. If it's uh, all this other stuff and you expect me to buy it from you, give me the list. I'll buy it myself somewhere else. Give me the option to buy it in Walmart. Give me the option to buy it in a health food store for the... Sam's Club? Something. Mm-hmm. Nothing. I was so upset. So I go back to the, the Yale doctor and I apologize for cheating on him and uh, gave me a shot. Oh, mind you, the shot that that doctor gave me, nothing helped. Nothing worked. I've been limping for, for almost uh, four or five months. You know what's good for that? I I sometimes get amputation. Uh, well, I get like problems in my arches sometimes, like like that. It's you know it's a plantar fasciitis. What what's effective is get like um a, a water bottle, just, you know, like one of those random water bottles, and freeze it, mm-hmm. right? And put it on the ground. I, I put like um like a towel on the ground, and like just put your foot and roll it back and forth on the. Uh, That's one of the exercises I do. Yeah, I don't do that as much as I should, but. Like, I walk the dog a lot, and, you know, every once in a while I'll be like, ah, my foot. And that usually, like, I don't know, it kind of breaks up whatever the problem is. Nobody nobody called, 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 nobody called. You got a wrestling doll. I don't. That's a wrestler. I don't. Mm hmm. That is a wrestler. I'm trying so hard to get this thing working, and I can only do it with headphones. I forgot. Is that a Walkman? This is the uh, this is the Walkman that we put. Okay, we can talk later. Oh, it stops now until I start talking. What are you talking about, Kevin? What? You're so you're so paranoid. <laughs> All the meds I take, folks, are because of Brian. Whatever. <laughs> what is it? What's your, your favorite team? What? What's your birthday? November 4th, 1973. Really? Uh-huh. I yep. You're a Novemberite like my wife. Yeah, let's, uh, while we're on that topic, I have... Wife? No, on while birthdays. on my wife? Oh, birthday. What is your birth sign? I am a cancer. And I was so yeah, freaked out. Telling when me, I was, bud. Yeah, when I, I was freaked out when I was a kid, and then I realized when I got older that I just have crabs. Let's see. On the seventh of this month, you will meet a super cute and flirty new crush. But just take it slow. This one could be a player. Oh. <laughs> With Mercury in your retrograde, a text could end up being in the wrong hands. So think twice before hitting send. These are from Seventeen Magazine. My daughter gets this. And for some oh, reason, it's like. For some reason, like in my, it's in the office right here. Let's. Yeah. Uh huh. So what I was reading it, Earth. I was flipping through it. Mm-hmm. It's important to keep up on the things that your kids are reading, so you know, like, um, you know, what's going on, what's being influenced. It helps you communicate. Middle. I understand. Let's see. Oh, here's an article. That's why I read here Ranger is, Rick. Here is how to get your flirt on, Kev. Okay. First, first you have to start by you know talking. Hello. <laughs> Yes, that's a good way to start. That's an important start, way to start. However, start nowadays, with a basic conversation like, hey, what's up? And then steer the combo into a topic you want when you're dealing with your crush. Everybody does oh. that. Then steer the topic into something your crush is into. For example, are you going to the game tonight? Hmm. Oh, they give you options. Yeah. Hmm. Number two, keep your eyes on the prize. 
whether you having a real in your uh, <sighs> wait, hold on. Whether you having an IRL, that's in real life, convo, or oh, flirting across the room, it's vitally important to lock eyes like you're doing with me right now. Kind of weird. Um, number three, make sure to stay in the moment. When your crush is in sight, it's easy to fixate on what the outcome is going to be. But if you start stressing, he's going to tell. Hmm. Huh. Oh, here's one. Number four, buy your crush a hot drink. Don't do it to prove you're the boss. Do it because it's something he might like. A Yale University study found that when someone is holding a warm drink, that person is more likely to view whomever, whomever he or she is with as having a positive personality. Hmm. What do you know? I didn't know that. Here's number five. This is the last one. Okay. Know that it's fine to fangirl. The key to leaving a lasting impression is all about how you make a person feel. What's Everyone fangirl? Everyone is looking for someone who makes them feel special. So don't be afraid to give them compliments. Hmm. What's a fangirl? That's like, a, you know, like when like a girl is a fan of something. I can write it's a like song. It's like a fanboy, but a girl. Oh. Here are some flirting fails, though. Don't do these things. Don't ever ask him about his ex. Mm-mm, that's a big turnoff. I would imagine. Don't ever try to act like someone else. Don't hide your true self. Hmm. Don't ever bust out a rom-com line that does not work these things might work in the movies what's a rom-com that's like a romantic comedy that's those oh yeah you know like harry met sally or a uh, pretty woman is a good example of that romantic comedy i was at a fancy restaurant wearing a white shirt that tied into a big bow at the bottom then i got some tomato sauce on my mouth i grabbed the napkin or so i thought it was the napkin and I wiped it off. Of course, I had actually grabbed the bottom of my shirt, and I got sauce all over it, so I had to spend the day <laughs> with a big stain. This is from a section called Trauma Rama, or oh, how awkward. Keep going. I'm going to play background music while you read it. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I was walking with a friend who was on the soccer team. He was my crush. Right at that moment, my crush strolled up a few feet behind and yelled. I was so caught off guard that after I turned away, I forgot to turn back, and I walked into a tree. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground, with only my crush around. I had a concussion. That doesn't sound good. What instrument are you playing there, Kevin? My guitar. What? Look it's at like one of those wacky double guitars. Where did you get that? Oh, I picked it up from Angus. You did? Yeah, he was such a nice guy about it. He's like, really? he's actually Russian. He said, here, have my guitar. Have a guitar. When's your birthday? <laughs> Welcome back to Pretentious Podcast. How much do you think this magazine cost a month? 50. 50 cents a month? Yeah. You remember the days of that? Did you ever get Ranger Rick when you were a kid? Um, I didn't get it. I would read them at the school library. I loved it. I, I got that in Boy's Life. I used to get Boy's Life. Yeah. Do you remember when Boy's Life had that comic in it about the about these alien invaders? They were like tripods. They they took they had taken over the earth. What was that called? Hold on. Boy's Life tripods. Boy's Life. Boy's, Boy's Life. Life tripod is something I dealt with when I was thirteen. The White Mountains. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I never heard of that. It was, it was a book series. There was the White Mountains, the Pool of Fire, and it was like in the future after these aliens had taken over the taken over the Earth, and then they, they serialized it as a comic inside of Boy's Life. It, would sound, it sounds like something like War of the Worlds-ish. It was, but it was like after, when, you know, the aliens have, like, taken control, and they they would, like put these like mesh nets on people's heads that would you know like mind control them or whatever it's good stuff scary it was scary kevin i i liked what i liked at boy's life that there was always like a goofus and gallant moment or uh was that in ranger rick i can't remember that was in highlights highlights for kids oh my god that i love that i only ever saw highlights at the doctor's office like whenever I'd go to like the pediatrician, there was always highlights, and that was like I always liked the search where you had to find things and stuff. And I thought I was the coolest because I could find them really fast. You found yourself to be more of a goofus. I was more of a gallant. Yeah, right. 
I was. I was so, so smooth. The ladies would be like, look at how gallant he is. Was it gallant or gallant? It was gallant. He was French. Really? Goofus. <laughs> goofus. His parents should have known that it was things weren't going to turn out right by naming his kid Goofus. I know. It's like he's predestined to, to fail. They started running that back in the 40s. His middle name is 1946. <laughs> Goofus and Gallant is an American comic strip that appears monthly in the highlights for children. Created by Gary Cleveland Myers. According to a family legend, the grandchildren of Myers were named Goofus and Gallant. Hmm. Wow. Stupid, That's stupid name. Sad. I just made that up. I'm oh, sorry. you scared me. I was like, these poor kids will really name this? This, this is my son, Goofus. This is my other son, Gallant. Why can't you like, be more like Gallant? She'd be like, which one do you like better? <laughs> like, well, you know, Gallant. Gallant, naturally. <laughs> Goofus and Gallant. Goofus and Gallant. Um, did you ever Mm-mm. read? Nope. Like, just let me stop you right there, bud. I've never read a thing. Oh, okay. Then never mind. The first book I ever read, and I was wondering if you've ever read it, was Halloween Tree. No, uh uh-uh. uh. You never read that book back in the day? No, tell me what that's about. Oh, uh, Halloween Tree. I can't remember. I remember it being the first book I ever read. That, and then I read. It's Water. a fantasy novel by American author Ray Bradbury. Yes. First published in 1972. So you read that when you were like two years old? I read that when I think I was seven to ten. How many pages do you think the book is? Oh, gosh. I would say it was a thick book. So I'm guessing Mm -hmm. 70 to 100. 7,200 pages. 7,200 pages. You are way off, man. 7 to 100. No. 7,200 pages. Is it is it 100 pages long? Or are you guessing? Or 160. Ah, well. And then I read mm-hmm. Watership Down. There was an unproduced collaboration with animator Chuck Jones. Hmm. They were going to try to make a feature-length animated version for television. For Halloween Town? Or Halloween Tree? Yeah. Oh, I wish they did, because that was an amazing book. And then... Um, you loved it? Yeah, and uh, Watership Down I liked, and then that was it. That's the one with, like, bunny rabbits, correct? Yeah, it, the woods. It was sort of like Lord of the Rings for animals. How would I get the ability to play something that you could hear? Um, Like what I'm doing? Well, because uh, I'm looking at, um like, an animated short uh, of the Halloween tree. Like, how would I... You send it to me. Yeah, yeah. If it is an Sit animated on the edge short... of your seat and enjoy Master Storyteller Ray Bradbury's classic adventure of four youth. Ray Bradbury also did the monster movie makeup book, I think, didn't he? He did? Did he? I don't think so. No. I think you're mistaken. I, don't I think know. I am too. I just made it. I don't know. I don't know anything, Kevin. What song do you want to sing and I'll play the background for you? I don't really feel it right now. You don't feel like singing? Nah, I just I just did. How about I get you started? Nah. 24 years and my life is still trying. Nobody calls me Bob. Nobody calls 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 I'm a DJ. That came out good. Hit the mix. Nobody calls Nobody calls Nobody calls I can hear everybody just like tuning out right Right now. I can feel it too, but that was fun. This is probably the worst (coughs) episode, which is good. It's good that this is the worst because because we'll also be the last. This will be the last with you. We have decided. Are you going to continue with it, Kevin? I think I might. I might continue with it depending on how Lewis feels about doing it. But do, should we mention what's going to happen to you and me? Um. Well, before we do, if it if it were me, I would not continue the show. I'm just saying. I don't. The problem. This is the problem I had with the show, with the format from the start. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt your feelings. But 
you know, just consider this to be like uh, in, in, in the nicest of spirits. Okay. The show feels too much like Please Stand By. And I didn't want to be part of the show that was like, Please Stand By, the worst version. You know what I mean? Like, Please Stand By is great. I love it. But a lot of the bits and a lot of the things in the show were very Please Stand By-ish. And there were a couple times you're trying to get me to do, like, Facebook sidebar, which Ferg doesn't want to do. You're like, well, Ferg doesn't want to do it. I guess I see Rob also do it. And I'll tell you what. I respect Ferg, but hey, man, I don't want Ferg's hand-me-downs. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... It's just insulting. Overall insulting. I didn't want to do celebrity impersonations. That's what Ferg does. It's all good. I love it when Ferg does it. It's like my favorite thing. It's not my thing. It's not me. And I think you're going to try to pass this off on your homie Lewis from Theater Cast. Lewis is his own person, man. He's not a second-rate Ferg either. He's a first. He's a first-rate Lewis. Well, I disagree. I know you do, <laughs> but... I'm a- <laughs> I'm 100% right. The whole show is made up of bits that Ferg didn't want to do. <laughs> All right. Well, let me tell you the origin of Pretentious Podcast. Pretentious Podcast came first. And Please Stand By spun off of Pretentious Podcast. Untrue. Very true. Joe Baraski and I in Virginia on, started it. it when I was in an apartment. And we said, you know what? This is fun. But let's do something where we have a set of rules. Five things. What's your, you know, anything interesting, anything, but, but, anything, did, did. have you seen any movies? Have you heard any music? And um, that's what became of that. Pretentious Podcast was just an outlet for me to act like an ass. And um, it has broken away from that because you and I have much, much more fun just fractalizationing our conversations. Letting them so? just go wherever they go. Yeah, because you're uber, I'm going to kiss your butt um, for a minute if I may. I'm the best. Because he is the best. Well, I want to tell you about. Um, Brian Roboticist, better, better, nine, better, better wise known as I see Gobots. I don't think anybody knows me as Brian Roboticist. I think you were literally the only person that calls me that. I know who you really are. No, you don't. I do, and I'm not going to mention your real name. It's, it's Brian Singleton. Um, Brian Singleton. Don't tell anybody. Uh, it's time they knew. I don't think they care. Gertrude Singleton. That's my mom. Um, I totally forgot where I was going. <laughs> you were going to tell me the origin of please, whatever. I forget. Please be pretentious. Mm-hmm. So pretentious was a ch- Now put that damn thing down. So <laughs> It doesn't work. It's making me really mad. It's a... It's a big Lebowski voice keychain that can play like eight different phrases. Oh, cool. But all it does is go, nobody calls, and it just starts over again. Like, nobody calls me Lebowski. See? It doesn't go all the way. I don't Lebow. Maybe. Nobody calls me Lebowski. Do you have to hold the button down? Let's hold on and see. Nobody calls me Lebowski. Nobody calls me <laughs> Oh, it does recycle. What a piece of junk. All right. Don't buy one of these. We're almost finished with the show here, and right. this will depart, but you and I, Thank s- God. I was kissing Ugh. your butt. I was kissing you your butt. To. You, you and I know. are very witty, I think. Makes- like you <laughs> said, I am the funniest person in the world, and you're okay. You follow along. You know, you, you slag behind a little bit, but you catch I up. try to keep up, but it's hard. It is hard. Um, mm-hmm. California's got a lot of mountains. Yeah. And um, so we decided to try something new. Shall I mention the name, or do, should we just do it? Not going, well, well, we need promotion. It's up to you. We're going to do a show called Talkaholism. A new show. Brand new show. Talkaholism. New show, new theme, new pictures, new people. Oh, same. It will be exactly the same as this, but hopefully more fun. Yeah. There'll be a little hopefully. structure to it, but not too much because we love yapping. Yeah, a lot of trivia, a lot of informative information, a lot of information informing you of informative informants. So basically, we're going to take this show, we're going to throw it in the garbage where it should have been all along. (gasps) His show will continue with a different co-host. I don't think that it should, Kevin. But we're going back to the things that we strayed away from with you. You've already. How many hosts have you had for this show? Co-hosts. We're going to have four. You've. (laughs) 
you go on like maybe that should just like tip you off i love this show but we've broken away from the true meaning of christmas kevin why do you love this show so much like why do you like I love send me the, the form- send me the format sheet again I'm not going to send it to you because you should have it. That's a waste of have... my emailing time. But here's... Send it to me. I want to go over this right now and tell people. I'm doing like... it right now. I got it open up. It goes, Pretentious Podcast starring Zurb and Brian. Now, <clears throat> Brian doesn't like to be called Brian. He likes to be called nope. Icy Robots. That's my name. <sighs> not birth. That's my God-given name. Uh, and then we have Opening Gab, How You Doing? We were going to keep that to five minutes total. We just didn't. And... And then went rants in your pants. We've never done rants in your pants in like five episodes. Because it's dumb. And then what have you done? That's your idea. What have you done? Who have you met? Who have you talked to? You know, where, mm. how, what is the furthest you've ever gone? That was an awesome idea. But we stopped doing so. it. It was your uh-huh. idea. And then Facebook Sidebar, which that... originated from this podcast. You're just trying to give me Ferg's hand-me-downs. Which is fine. Ferg It'd be fine if he was like handing me down like Atari cartridges or something. But I don't want his hand-me-down bits. Ferg got this hand-me-down. Facebook sidebar. I do like that song, though. It was stolen from Did the Did you write Beatles. that yourself? Yeah, sure. It, it's a good one, man. You, you have a skill. It was stolen from uh, the Beatles song, um, Good Day Sunshine. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? None. You haven't seen The Last Jedi? Nope. No? I want to. Why haven't you? Uh, I enjoy actually watching them at home more than in the theater. I've talked about that. I can't stand the theater. Too Just, many here's, kids. Too here's many how you noises. get around that. Go in the morning. Yeah, we talked about that. It's still no good because kids go in there and, and waste the money just to hang out with each other in the damn theater. They're at, they're at school. Nah, not the ones that are trying to uh, become gallants. Nah, go at Goofuses. like, we go at like 10 in the morning. Sometimes. And there's like, we're usually the only people there. Hmm. I go to the first show. I might have to show up there. go to the first show. I'll have to go with you in California. You can. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm not going to pay, but you can come if you want. If you want to pick up a ticket. We do have to end this show, by the way. And and you said you wanted to blow this up. Yeah. From the start, man. All right. So that's it for Pretentious Podcast in this in this fashion. Seriously, this should seriously be the last pretentious podcast. Well, the problem with the pretentious podcast, Kevin, I'm going to tell you the problem right now. This join this us next it. time, Kevin, when Brian says the problem is you're not a pretentious dude at all. You're like a down to earth good guy, and you're just. If I had like a thousand words to describe you, I would not say pretentious. Really, like ever? No, not at all. You drink Maxwell House. <laughs> That's the whole reason I'm not pretentious. Good lord, he drinks Maxwell House. <laughs> you drink Max like that's the that's it right there. Like nobody pretentious drinks Maxwell House. The thing is, is when 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 pretentious comes back, it'll be filled with pretentious topics. <sighs> that's I don't. You're not give me pretentious. An I'm not pretentious at all. No. Like I shop at Kmart. Yeah. I drive a truck. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I drive a Dodge Stratus. I drive a Dodge Ram. I shop at Kmart. I'm wearing cargo shorts right G- now. Jerry is pretentious. <laughs> I just like I don't. I have a dog. You know, I have like a a cattle dog. I'm just completely not pretentious at all. Well, join us next time when Brian says. Oh, that was in the show. Yeah. We do this every time, and I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Should I ask Uh, Jerry to say the final thing? No, this will be, hopefully, the final words ever spoken on the Pretentious Podcast. Um, Until next time. Smell you later, dum-dums. Awesome. And now... Smell you later, dum-dum. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.